Five Minute Princess Stories, Belle's Flight, written by Tia Orsi. Belle and her father Maurice were on their way to Paris to visit the French National Library. Belle couldn't wait to explore all the books. Maurice chuckled. All of them? I hope we'll have enough time. But the journey would take a couple of days, so they planned to make stops along the way to sightsee. After a few hours the first day, the travelers reached the country inn where they would spend the night. Et voila! Cheese and warm baguettes, the landlady announced when all her guests were settled. Maurice happily thanked her for her hospitality, but Belle's attention was caught by a young woman who was busy writing in a notebook. What is she writing? Belle wondered. Maybe an adventure novel or a fairy tale? And then came the perfect chance for Belle to find out. The writer accidentally dropped some of her pages on the ground and didn't notice. You dropped these, Belle said, returning the papers to the mysterious writer. Thank you, the girl said. I was so focused on my travel journal that I didn't notice they had fallen. A travel journal? How amazing, Belle exclaimed. Where have you traveled? The girl smiled and joined Belle and Maurice at their table. Her name was Sophie. I have visited every town in France to search out wonderful inventions, she said. Belle was amazed. What's your next destination? she asked. England! I'll show you how I'm traveling there, Sophie said, heading for the door. She led Belle and Maurice to a meadow where she was keeping an extraordinary vehicle. It was a hot air balloon. Belle and Maurice wanted to know everything about the balloon, so Sophie showed them how it worked. I built it myself, she explained. Why don't you join me for a short flight? Belle and Maurice were thrilled. They scrambled into the basket and took off with Sophie on their first balloon flight. The world seemed so small from up high. The clouds are moving in fast, Sophie pointed out as they flew higher. Uh-oh, I think a storm is on the way, Maurice exclaimed. Large raindrops soon followed. I've never flown in a storm, Sophie called. We better land, Belle shouted over the wind. Belle and Maurice held on tightly while Sophie turned the fire down to start the descent. But as the balloon lowered to the ground, a gust of wind pushed it towards the tree. A branch sliced open the canvas. The balloon plummeted to the ground. Sophie was upset that her air balloon was ruined. Don't worry, together we can fix it, Belle reassured her. When the skies cleared, Belle, Maurice, and Sophie got to work. They sewed, weaved, and hammered. Soon, the balloon was good as new. You saved the day, Sophie said. As thanks, she gave Belle and Maurice a special gift, the blueprints for her contraption. When we go home, we can build a balloon together, Belle told her father. But first, let me take you to Paris, Sophie exclaimed. Soon, Philip and his wagon were back on the road to Paris, but this time with special flying guides. We're nearly there, Belle called out from the balloon. When they finally entered the French National Library, Belle couldn't believe her eyes. There were books on every subject. She couldn't wait to start reading. First on her list, travel journals, then books on flying, then maps of the world, then anything and everything. The end.